Hi, Year 8. Welcome back to your third lesson looking at presents from my aunt in Pakistan. Uh, you're doing our tasks on the board, so it's to do with the tone of the poem. How do you think the, the, the speaker feels in this poem? How is she feeling? And how do you know that? And then see if you can make me a list of words and phrases which are negative. Pause the video and do that now. Okay, so hopefully you will have written that she feels a bit confused, that she's uh, not sure if she should like English clothes or Pakistani clothes, and she's just not quite sure. Uh, and we know that from some of the words that she uses in the poem. Uh, so let's have a look. She talks about, for example, the clothes from Pakistan are described using such positive words. So they're glistening, they're embossed, they've got candy-striped bangles and things like that. But at the same time, they snap and they made her bleed, okay? Um, and uh, she says on the next bit, she talks about how I could never be as lovely as those clothes. And she feels like an alien. She longed for English clothes and she couldn't quite, you know, find any comfort. She talks here about how her mother cherished her jewellery from her culture. Um, and then she says about her school friend who comes around to see her clothes. Um, she wasn't impressed by them. The school, the school friend wasn't impressed at all. So you've got some sort of differences of opinion going on here. She's got this conflict inside her. Okay, so we're going to look at the structure of the poem. So when you look back at those previous slides, do you see a regular structure? Are the lines and the stanzas of the same length and does it rhyme? Okay, and then the extension of that is, does that structure show a clear mind from the speaker or does it reflect some confusion? Okay, so you're looking at the length of the lines and the length of the stanzas. Is there anything regular? Does it rhyme? And what does that show? So I'm going to take you back and show you those again now. Okay, so that's the first stanza. And I think you can see just from looking at that that you've got some longer ones and some shorter ones. So are they all matching? Is there an order to them where they're all the same? No, I don't think so. Okay, does it rhyme? So what do you think that tells us, the fact it doesn't rhyme and that there is no structure? You work it out and have a go. Okay, so again, I'm just showing you each of those stanzas for a minute. So you've got time to pause the video and have a look at that in more detail, considering the length of each of the lines, the length of the stanzas, and about how it reflects her opinion. Okay, so hopefully you can see that actually there's a lot of confusion there from the girl and she isn't sure which culture she identifies with the most, uh, whether that's being English or being Pakistani. And obviously the answer is she doesn't have to pick. It's not a make your mind up and never talk about the other one again. But nonetheless, we... we um, in, in our natural biological state as animals, we want to join a tribe, we want to be in a pack, we want to feel the same as the other people around us. So it's natural that the poet wants to do that. Uh, and she's just not sure which way she identifies the most. So, you've got a fill in the blanks activity, so you've got a box on the right hand side with some words in, you've got half English, cultural identity, Pakistan, alien, confused, struggle and England. So I'm going to read you the paragraph and you then need to write out which word you think goes where, so you can copy the whole paragraph and insert the words that you choose. So, it's important to understand that the poet was born and lives in, however, one of her parents is from... We all inherit both of our parents' culture and this poem explores the poet's feelings of the of being part of two. The poet admits feeling and when she describes the presence as we understand that she struggles to be part of both cultures. She therefore comes across as about her cultural Okay, so pause the video and do that task now. So, three questions here to think about. So how did wearing these clothes in England make this girl feel? So when she was standing in her room, trying them on, looking at what they're like, how did she feel? Okay, and why do you think she felt that? What did the school friend feel about these exotic clothes? And where do you think the poet feels most at home? And why do you think that is? If she's got more English uh, feelings, more English identity, why? Or is it more Pakistani? And why?
okay and just understanding I think that conflict all the time that people do have if they've come from a split culture like that and it's a very very common thing uh, and then finally then, so do you think your clothing and your other material possessions just mean stuff that you own? So is clothing and other stuff an important part of your identity? Okay, how does it make you feel? And then that's it for today. See you later.